forever since I've made a video. I've been moving into my new apartment and decorating, so it's been a little chaotic, but I'm finally in, and I feel like this is like growing out of the back of my head as I'm speaking to you, but whatever. Anyways, um, so yeah, I've gotten a few messages here on YouTube asking me to do a look with hot pink lips. I know I did like the Kardashian look a while back, but I guess you guys wanted more for spring and summertime. So this is what I did. It's um, just a neutral look with pink lips. And I did a really bold brow because bold brows are really in right now and I'm like obsessed. And it's hard not to take it too far. Easy, hard, hard, oh god, ow. Anyways. So this is the look I came up with. I have false eyelashes on because whenever I make these videos, I just feel like I have to put false lashes on. In the mirror, I'm like, oh, no, I'm not gonna put lashes on. But then I look in the camera and I'm like, I look awful. I don't want you guys to think that like my makeup is hideous. So like, what's the point of the video? Anyways, um, just keep watching. Okay, so first I am taking this big brush and it has vanilla eyeshadow on it. It's a velvet eyeshadow, so it's not shimmery but it's not totally matte and I'm using this because I'm gonna be using a shimmery color all over my lid and I don't want it to be too much shimmer. Now I'm taking the shadow Hey by MAC. This was a limited edition. Um, it's a lot like Naked Pigment. The only reason I'm using it is because it is so similar to my skin tone and in this look, the color should be very similar to your skin tone. You could do it with a matte shade, but I just like the shimmer, especially this time of year. Now I'm taking the color Samoa Silk. Um, I don't have a picture of it, but it's like an orangey, yellowy, medium tone. It works just the same way as like soft brown does in the sense that it's just going to be your medium color to blend darker shade we're going to use into the highlight. Now I'm using texture. I believe I've used this before in a previous video. It's my favorite color by MAC. Um, it's like a warm tone with red undertones in it. And I'm putting that like in the depths of my crease and I'm blending it up and I'm not being too precise as you can see I'm working rather quickly because I'm gonna put on false lashes I can be a little bit more sloppy with this in a way because the false lashes is gonna help bring that color down so I can take it up a little bit farther and I'm going back with that same brush with nothing on it and just blending it out you can put more Samoa silk on it or going with like soft brown or just a medium tone and it'll help blend it out now I'm doing my eyeliner. I'm using gel, and um, this isn't even MAC. This is actually Maybelline. Um, it's like called Eye Studio or something. It's so amazing. I'm addicted to this eyeliner. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm giving myself just like a little wing, and I'm not doing too thick of a line or too thin. This might be thick for you, but it's not for me. That's on the thin side. Um, just enough to put lashes on. And you don't have to do lashes with this look. I mean, the only reason I really did it is just because I felt like it looked kind of incomplete without it on camera. But yes, so I'm now doing my foundation and I do not know why my skin looks so pink on the camera and my foundation looks so yellow, but I promise this foundation does match me. And I'm also sorry that I'm so zoomed in. I'm getting used to this um, editing program that I'm using and it is not so cute. But my other videos, I won't be so zoomed in, I promise. Um, I'm using a concealer. This is the Select Cover Up Concealer by MAC and I'm using it on a natural hairbrush because I want it to be a little on the sheer side. And then I'm blending it in with my fingers because when it comes to concealer, that is my favorite tool to use. The warmth of your finger will just blend it so much more beautifully and smoothly than any brush will. And as you can see, I'm dabbing, not actually rubbing because if you rub, it's just going to go right on your finger and you're going to take it off your face. Okay, now I'm going in with a brush and I'm using Max Mineral Skin Finish in the color Light. I'm using light because I want my concealer to be lighter than the rest of my face. Some people don't do this, I do. It helps open up your eyes, helps give you more of like a fresh look. Um, and especially in the daytime, it'll really just make you pop a little bit more. Some people don't like it, I do. Now I'm filling in my brows and I'm using Cork by MAC. That's the shade I'm using. I'm doing a little bit of a bolder brow today. So I'm bringing that shade all the way in Normally I wouldn't bring it in quite that far and quite that blunt, but today I am because I love, love this really bold brow trend that is going around right now. Um, it's easy to get carried away though. There's a few times I've done my brows and sat back and been like, oh my god, this is awful. I have worms on my face. Um, I'm using clear brow gel. You can get it anywhere and I'm just 
going in and just making sure that my eyebrows don't stray away because they go crazy. And then I'm popping on some false lashes, which you can barely see because I'm so zoomed in and I'm sorry, but it is what it is. I'm putting on some false lashes. Oh, look at that. There is my eye. That is really gross. And I'm using mascara, which is an absolute must. Like if you're going to put on false lashes, do not neglect your natural ones. Seriously, put on mascara. It will change everything. Okay. I'm bronzing. I am not contouring. I am bronzing. So I'm just going crazy. I'm putting it a little under the cheekbone, a little on top. I'm bringing it around the side of my face, up on my forehead, the whole shebang. Now, honestly, for a daytime look, you could just put on like a clear gloss and be done. Um, but I'm going to go in with blush and I'm going to do a bright lip and I'm going to put some shadow on under my eyes because this is more of like a late afternoon evening look for me. I'm using the blush cantaloupe. It's a Mac pro color. I'm putting it on the apples of my cheeks and bringing it down just a little bit and blending it into my bronzer. I'm doing this because I don't really want a baby doll look, but I want it to stay in line with the whole bronzing color. And then I'm going back and I'm covering up my glue because even though makeup artists will tell you that it dries clear, it doesn't. It's lies. Don't believe it. Please go in and cover up your eyeliner. It will make the world of a difference. And I'm using um, Impassioned Lipstick by MAC. And this is a very hot, hot pink. It's a little on the warm side. You might not see it in the video, but it is on the warm side if you hold it next to like a true cool tone blue pink. It's my favorite color though. It's so pretty. And I'm taking um, this color that's a lot like texture, but a little lighter, and it's called One to Watch. It's a pro long wear shade. And I'm putting it on under my eyes and just blending it out. Once again, if this is like a morning or early afternoon or you're going to work, you can skip the false lashes and skip the shadow under the eye and just do mascara and you're done. But I didn't want to just leave it at that. I wanted to just give myself a little extra something. So I'm putting mascara on my bottom eyelashes. And you can see the difference that makes for me. Um, after this, you're done. So I hope you enjoyed. Okay, bye!